This week we saw anti-terrorism criminal charges brought against young Muslims who are from Ottawa and have affiliations with the as -Salam Mosque there and Algonquin College. Well, what are those places like? Is there, in fact, Islamic extremism? Are they teaching young people to be radicals, to become violent? Well, let's not guess. Let's go to someone who has actually checked, including in its native Arabic language. Jonathan Levy joins us again. You speak Arabic, you speak Farsi, that's the Persian language, obviously you, you speak English and other languages too. You have gone to the source here. This mosque in Ottawa and Algonquin College, you've brought some evidence today in the form of videos and event posters that suggest extremism and including talking about killing infidels is normal at these places. Uh, I would say that uh, it should be it's, it's important to look into the uh, guest speaker that are being invited to these venues, to the mosque, to the uh, Algonquin College, in order to understand whether the condemnation of uh, terrorism, radicalism is sincere. If we look into these guest speakers, their ideas, their, uh, their position, they are well known. That should be, that should uh, uh, they should under, they should explain why they are invited in the first place. So the information you're about to show us, you didn't do this in some deep undercover way. You found things that the, this mosque and this campus Muslim club are publicly showing the world. I mean, it's not like they're even hiding their views. You got these things off the internet, off of YouTube, off their own websites and Facebook pages. Am I right? Yes. Well, let's jump right in now. I am not as fluent with these facts, so I'm going to rely on you to take me through the evidence. You have three or four video clips and some other posters or websites. Let's get started. What's the first piece of evidence you'd like to show us today? This is a speech uh, made by um, uh, Sheikh, uh, the Imam Said Rage. He's a Toronto Imam, uh, and he was invited to speak in front of the congregation of a Salam Mosque in Ottawa. And he referred to, the, uh, to Prime Minister Harper. Let's take a look. If one of us was invited by the prime minister of this country and he says, you know, I'm giving you a special invitation, exclusive invitation, come to my house, have dinner with me, chat with me, sit with me, talk to me, I'll talk to you. I guarantee you every one of you will come out of that meeting raising his head with pride. So proud of himself. So please, you know, tweeting every second, oh, I'm sitting with the prime minister. Your life will be nothing but him. And he is the enemy of Islam. He's an enemy of Islam. I guarantee you, if we go to him right now, and he's the man who said, you know, the, the threat of this country is Islamism. Now, that's a Toronto imam. We've showed him before talking about killing apostates. He, he was speaking there at the Asala Mosque in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. What does it mean when a Muslim imam declares someone to be an enemy of Islam? Does that have a meaning that is deeper or different than the plain English words of mm -hmm. that are? First of all, he, have, uh, he must uh, explain himself. But if you look into uh, the terminology in the Middle East, when somebody, Hamas, is saying this is enemy of Islam, Iran defines somebody enemy of Islam or uh, ISIS or Qaeda, which means that he is one that against him we should launch the jihad, which is he is uh, a legitimate target. And uh, uh, even if he didn't mean that the, the, the same, this uh, specific interpretation, those who are in the congregation, those who are radicals, those who are um, uh, uh, um, mentally ill, as they are, uh, they're being called, may understand it in a different way, in an extreme way. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, uh, it's quite, uh, it's very important, you know, for this terminology to be used in the mosque. That could be a, a consequence. Right. So even if this imam himself didn't mean, so let's kill the prime minister, the kind of people who were charged with anti-terrorism, with terrorism crimes, mm -hmm. the kind of people who've gone overseas to kill, like John Maguire, mm -hmm. an enemy of Islam, that's what he, who he kills. Now, we got to speed up a little bit because we got to get through a lot more evidence mm -hmm. In the, seg in the time we have for this segment. So why don't you introduce the next piece of evidence on the radicalism at the Aslam Mosque mm -hmm. and Algonquin College. Aslam Mosque invites uh, from time to time radical uh, imams to speak in front of the congregation. And one of them is an uh, Edmonton imam. 
who, who was invited, and I found uh, a speech of his, a supplication, basically, that was, uh, take, uh, that was, was said in, in Edmonton, I think in Edmonton, and he talks about the Mujahideen. He calls Allah... Mujahideen is a holy warrior, or as we might call them, a terrorist. Uh, jihad fighters. Yeah. And, and he asks Allah to support the Mujahideen, give them victory. Uh, to all Mujahideen around the globe, and he also mentioned countries like Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan. So he was, so an Edmonton imam at the Ottawa mosque was saying we have to support the jihadis, including in Afghanistan, where Canadians were fighting. He didn't say that in, in, in a Salam mosque, he said it in, in other places, but that shows you his uh, uh, mindset. Let's show the video right now. <laughs> So an Edmonton imam, I mean, it's bad enough that he's going to Ottawa. This guy is preaching in Edmonton. Give us your next piece of evidence. And at the, at the end of that video clip, mm -hmm. uh, there is a message from Anwar al-Awaliki. That's a terrorist yes. who was with al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda in Yemen. He was, uh, the, uh, the, uh, behind, he was the inspiration behind the attack. Yeah, he's a famous al-Qaeda terrorist. Charlie Hebdo. Wow, That's to right. actually give him yes. a shout-out is quite something. Let's take a look at that right now. My advice to you is this. You have two choices. Either hijrah or jihad. You either leave or you fight. So that was Anwar al-Awlaki that was being praised by this Edmonton imam? He was not praised by, the, by him, but it was the, at the end of his supplication. What is interesting about that? So that the end of the prayer, they yes. had that, that video? Yes, that was inserted to the video. And that was, an, that was an Islamic State terrorist flag I saw there. Yes, it was yeah, Al-Qaeda and Al-Qaeda in Yemen. But what is interesting about that, the, uh, um, the imam, the Ed, this Edmonton imam, uh, called his followers and friends on Facebook to subscribe to the same uh, uh, YouTube channel which has this video. Jeez. Now, do we have any more video, or now we've got some ads on Facebook and things no. like that? One uh, short uh, video from oh. another imam from Britain, also a radical imam, who calls to, uh, who support killing all apostates, and he was also invited to speak in front of the congregation. The same as Mosque. Uh, same as Mosque. So this as Mosque is bringing in all these radicals from around Canada, also invited this radical from the UK. Let's take a, a look at what he has to say. The Muslim man or woman who changes their religion from Al Islam to anything else, kill them in the Islamic State. Kill them. It's like ISIS, like ideology. He also kills for, he calls for the killing of, uh, executing of. So days. he was invited to speak at that Al Islam mosque and, and also at Algonquin College. And that guy was invited to Algonquin College. Yes. Now let's show some of these Facebook ads and things like that. Let's show the first one, a Facebook ad saying, hey, come on down to Algonquin College. This is where that Muslim Students Association, some of these accused terrorists. So what does this say here? Come down to Algonquin College, room C-144. Come visit your friends and family and watch it. So they're ha they were having some online multimedia Islamic experience. Yes. And nullifiers of Islam, that's written like a horror movie, a nullifier of Islam is someone who would criticize Islam, speak out against Islam. This is being hosted at the Aslam Mosque also. That looks terrifying. W what would that be about? Now, the, the, uh, what is interesting... That was that British-American guy. The, 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 well, he was born in New Jersey, and uh, now he's based in, in, uh, in London. But it's very important to, see, uh, to, to, to uh, examine the condemnation that made by, that were published by the, uh, this organization like Asalaam Moscow, today by Algonquin College, the, uh, 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 the Muslim Students Association, not to be, uh, you know, to look into it in a different way and to check it and to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to see if, if the condemnation is really sincere. So what you're saying is the four video clips and the Facebook page and the ads that is the substance, that is the truth of what they do, who they invite, how they talk at the Asala Mosque and Algonquin College. And whatever they're saying now about, oh, we're against radicalization, we're against extremism, what you're saying is check their words in English in public to what they say in Arabic in the closed doors of the mosque that you managed to find on YouTube. That's good advice, and I hope that Canada's CSIS and RCMP watch this show. They need to know the facts. Jonathan Levy, you are the only person in Canada doing this research. More